So this is what the promised land looks like. Somehow I thought it was more desert than that. <laughs> so this is just the land of milk and honey. Land of milk and honey. You get the glance, you see the mountain? You got to glance over at the promised land, but you don't get to go in. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to tie a double uni knot. This is the knot I use to tie braid to copolymer backing on my reel. I'm going to be using 15 pound copolymer to represent my backing coming off the reel and 65 pound braid to represent my main line. You're going to want to take about 6 inches of line when you start off of each so your braid and your copolymer you're going to grab it and put the two lines parallel start with the backing and wrap it around your finger and come up over both lines wrap it one two three four five bring the copolymer up through the loop Cinch it down, grab where you cinched it down near the braid tag in, wrap the braid around your finger, come up, go over both lines, and wrap five times, one, two, three, four, five, then you're going to bring the braid up through the loop. and you'll cinch them both together. And you'll cut your tag ends. And there you have your double uni knot. We left them biting, so they should still be here. We missed some fish. We missed some good ones. With my frogging setup, I'll cover the spool with copolymer backing two or three times so I can get enough braid on there for maximum casting distance. On my flipping setup, I will fill the spool halfway with 
backing because with flipping I'm not using as much line so a half a spool line is sufficient for flipping. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tight lines.